name is Erica Ward. I'm an Atlanta-based interior designer and your host for Designer Series. Today I have a friend of mine, but before she was even my friend, she's a fabulous interior designer out of Texas, Shay Gear. Hey, thanks for hey, having Shay. me. Well, what have you seen so far that you just feel like, wow, I didn't expect to see this, but I'm so glad that I did. Wow, um, you know, I think there's a lot of the trends that we kind of saw last market that yes. are stronger this market we're seeing more of a presence mm -hmm. um, the mixed metals um, I think you know John Richard actually one of my favorite collections is that floor lamp right yeah. behind us that it's has the black and brass the same silhouette there's a well. chandelier and there's sconces and I love that sort of mid-century influence yeah. which I think is a, another big trend mm -hmm. we're seeing in the marketplace so that Mad Men influence yeah. um, so the mixed metals for sure um, the mid-century um, and color, you know, uh, and it's really all across the board from what I'm seeing from, um, you know, punchy pastels was one that we saw right. in the um, fall. And, uh, and I was excited about that too. Yes. I think we were all yearning for like warmer temperatures. <laughs> I know. Well, and I, you know, I'm not typically a pastel person. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really like soft and muted. Sure. I like vibrant and bold, bold. and that's yes. kind of my personality. <laughs> I know you feel the same yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, little. Yeah. yeah. So when I saw the punchy pastel trend, right. I thought, oh, I can get down with this because, right. you know, this is like the bold way to do it. So um, I saw some art represented here sure. uh, that really spoke to that trend. Um, and then from upholstery, I see a lot of blush. So yes. more on the softer pastel side, right. but these feminine touches. Um, so I think that's a big thing that's going to be sort of more dominant in the marketplace right now. Those feminine touches, some curves, everything still clean lined and right. not, you know, ornate and overdone, but um, soft feminine details, um, whether it's adding, you know, the quartz pieces oh, or, I you know. i the uh, natural yeah. materials incorporated into that. But Me you know, too. the way that I kind of think about the pastel trend mm -hmm. is adding contrast with like a darker color. I love like, that. It's almost as if, you know, your necklace was pale pink, but it's against that navy dress. And it just and makes, it still, makes it pop. Yeah, it still makes it bold. It's that, that yeah. vivid thing that right. so draws you can take us that, to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I love that. Exactly. I love that. So there's always a way that we can still take something like that and incorporate it into our own work. So yeah. true, so yeah, true. And, you get, awesome. and that adds that little feminine touch too it if does. you did like a soft pastel pink yeah. in, a, in a palette. So, um, you know, one thing that I really loved that I um, was seeing here today when mm -hmm. I was walking through the John Richard show and they, you know, they do lighting so well. I mean, like one of the best in the industry yes. for sure. Um, but they have what I we've termed, I don't know what they're calling it, but we call it the fandelier. Yes, yes I did call it that too. Girl, I was texting my clients because I swear it is like the great did you see debate. The really big one? Yes. Okay, oh, so the gold, beautiful. the white drum shade yes. with the gold. Okay, yes. we actually have that actual chandelier in our showroom right okay. now. Oh, and yes. people are bananas over it. But right. I'm telling you, we're we're not gonna be able to keep it in stock with the I fan know. in it now. I'm I swear know. because Especially in Texas, right? Yes. Well it's I mean it's over hundred degrees, right. you know, the entire summer exactly. and so um, but it's always that great debate with the husbands in the master bedroom right. and I'll, often the family room yeah. I have to have a fan sure. I have to have a fan because like you said we're in Dallas and it's hot and then you have those either high ceilings too right. in a lot of your places and so it's like being able to have a large scale fixture that's right. also pretty right. and cool like literally literally yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Literally, literally cool you are <laughs> right. well uh, the funny thing is I just um, finished a project where I designed one and had it manufactured in Dallas for my client because the husband was like I have to have a fan right. and, and she's that's like only, I want a chandelier yeah, and I was sure. like I'm gonna be the referee here <laughs> we're gonna make yeah. you both happy right. and so because you know the ones that we've seen in the past mm -hmm. are I'm sorry hideous yeah. <laughs> and so it's to see it pretty. you yeah. know I mean right. and it really kind of makes the concept you know mm -hmm. sort of cheesy and then right. to see somebody that does lighting so beautifully take that concept right. and do it where right. it can be sophisticated right. and be a win-win for everybody. Um, I was actually doing my Instagram stories and, and posted that one that we were just talking one. about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I posted the one with the drum shade. Yes, that's what yeah. I, yeah, that's what I did, the gold. Mm -hmm. And so, and people were like texting me and messaging me like crazy, like, right. oh my gosh, that's so amazing. Exactly, so, exactly. I think things like that um, are so great for us as designers right. too, is that people really taking the time to 
see how people function and right. live and how they're utilizing their spaces right. and then making it so functional but gorgeous at yes. the same time. It's like, you know, it's a win-win for us. I liken it to um, the designers, well, not us as far as, like, well, the product designers listening because we right. do a lot of listening, right? you know, to make sure that we can anticipate the needs of our clients. But it appears that the product designers are listening and then producing that thing that we're looking for. I agree. And then right. when you walk around the corner and you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, there <laughs> it is. It's like they were channeling my yes. mind. Well, that's the magic behind market, right? Yes, yeah. that's so true. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And I love the videos that you're doing, the trend watch videos. Oh, thank you. They're so energetic. They're so informative. Thank you. And I think it does, you know, give people who are able to come right. or who may have wanted to come who are even here right because it's so much to see it it's is so little time but you really show some great highlights thank I just want you. To tell you about that. i appreciate yeah. that yeah. you know um we i've been coming um since 2001 yeah. and uh my mom's been coming for like is there a badge for years. that i don't yeah. know i mean i think she's you know <laughs> yes she's in like the you know she's been she's market all yes, stars there you, yes, go. there you go um and it's so interesting to see her perspective of it but um, we bring six designers typically with us and we divide into teams of two but to cover everything is just it's so difficult. So huge. the trend pieces are really so great for everybody, and then obviously social media to share what's going right. on. But I find that my clients really like these things too because yeah. they'll be like, oh, I saw your video. Right. Can we do something like that in my house? So right. they get excited and energized exactly. about what we're seeing. And I always relate it to Fashion Week um, uh -huh. in okay. New York sure. for us yeah. because – it's you're seeing all these new introductions and we're thinking about how we can apply them into our designs right. and getting people excited right. and it's twice a year so it's really to me like fashion week for the design right. industry what's your favorite thing that you've seen so far well the only showroom i've been in so far is this <laughs> John Richard, one. yeah but it's, it's a good also, place to start yeah and it usually is one of my first stops right anyway. yeah and uh, i get kind of the previews and the email and so the pictures are absolutely beautiful, but then to see it in person, it's just like, oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, it is. And so, you know, initially my husband used to think, how that was that's so corny that you, you know, get all excited oh, about the yeah. chandelier. But then when he is able to come along with me and witness it along with me, and he's like, oh, okay, the yeah. appreciation is there. Is there, yeah. yeah. And I think that's a huge plus for you all to have a showroom right, yeah. to be able to bring that experience back home and, show our yeah. and install some of your favorite things. Yeah, and we actually sell right off of our floor, so oh, we don't, we that. are constantly changing our look yeah. in our showroom and stuff, so it's fun to kind of see the transformations right. and things And it keeps things fresh for you all. It so does, you're constantly yeah. being able to see new things. Right. Because I'm sure the pics that you're uh, putting out there are just gone. I love it. Right. Well, you know, it's funny because a lot of times when I sell or I show things on social media, yeah. my clients will be like, I want that. Put, when it comes Put it on in, hold. let me know. You know? <laughs> right. or, so, you know, it's one of those things, one of yeah. those new introductions, you know, get everybody so excited. Yeah. But yeah, it keeps our, our showroom fresh for sure, our, yeah. our, the way we do our our, our business model but um, I kind of call it our design lab you know oh, it's like a place yeah. for us to experiment sure. with things and you and use your home as a lab too. I do yeah. yes don't we all though yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your home is much prettier oh, oh you're yeah. sweet you're sweet <laughs> it is a work in progress girl yeah. I'm telling you um, and I have a lot of John Richard in my yeah, but own you've done home a beautiful job with that yeah, yeah. thank you yeah. it's fun you know it's hardest I think for us to do our own homes and I thought it was just me but you would agree yes okay, because we see this we see all the new cool things every day we know that next market or there's always something new being right. created and right. we're like where could I put that and like I guess I've kind of learned too not to get too attached to things because yeah. oftentimes like we have to tell I'll, your husband not to get attached well and he's yeah. he's learned over the years there's a few things right. that he's like please don't put that in the client's house I want to keep you know <laughs> he's he's learned but I'll have you know clients that'll be like I saw what you just did and you posted and I'm having a party next week. Can we get that room done? Do you mind if I buy that next piece week. from you? Yes. And I'm like, it's been in my house for like 24 hours. <laughs> and then it's like, it's never finished. Yes. But, you know, it's a good problem to have because it then is. it's kind of like you said, it's like our extension of our showroom, so to speak. Right. So we're always switching things out. Mm -hmm. I'm always moving things around. Yeah. Because, yeah. um, you know, when you see all the new stuff come in, mm -hmm. like you said, there's I want to find a place for it. So. Right. Um, those things that you fall in love with and make you feel good, that's what you should yeah. live amongst. Absolutely, so. absolutely. And I think it's 
speaks to market to say that you've been coming yeah. for 16 years. Yeah. Your mother's been coming twice as long. Right. Yeah. And you're still finding things that excite you. Yeah. And I think that's very special. I, I think it's actually um, really cool. And I, I think, too, when you love your job yes. and you love what oh, you gosh, do, yeah. and, and this is such a creative industry, mm -hmm. um, the, it's it's it is fun and exciting. Like yes. you know, you're looking forward to seeing what happens and what's created, and then you know, making friends. I think like the social connection oh, and interaction that I've established over these years. Um, it wasn't the same when I first started coming. We didn't have right. social media. That's I mean, true. I can remember years ago when Twitter first um, came about. And there was a, a handful of designers that I had met through Twitter, right. and they were like, hey, let's do a tweet-up. Well, it was not really such a thing as a tweet-up, <laughs> exactly. and we were like, well, what I is it? What do we do? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. there was like eight of us there right. or something, and that we're all still friends to this That's day, right. but it's funny to look at how things have changed over the years and how we share things right. and how we can instantly, you know, if I'm in the showroom and I see something, I can text a client or I right. can post it on Instagram sure. or Facebook. and. Um, Having the uh, imagery makes the experience even richer. It does. Because you've got the words to go along with the image. Right. But with just Twitter, you know, you can de describe something. Right. I have one completely different perspective about what you said, and you, exactly. you know what I mean? when you're able to... The picture uh, says a thousand words, right? There you right? go. Yeah. yeah. It kind of merges the two. Yeah. Oh, that's what she's talking about. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I love that too. It's, <laughs> well, in our industry is, I mean, it's, it is. It's a very visual yeah. industry, and for right. clients that and are very driven, visual... Yeah. Um, it's great for them to, you know, sort of see things and have that perspective. And start speaking your language. Yes, you know exactly. I mean? yeah. Isn't that funny how they start? Does your husband do that yeah. too? I'm <laughs> like, are you playing designer? <laughs> He's like, when they do it to, or he talks to somebody else and I'm listening to him like, what, what did you just say? I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My husband actually works in our company. Oh, that's um, great. He, yeah. My dad passed away a few years ago. He joined yeah. our team. And so it's funny, one of our other designers, her husband also works um, in our business and, yeah. and her dad as well. But um, the guys all get together and they, you know, play designer. We right. just sit there and we're like, okay, really? <laughs> But they are excited too, I feel mm -hmm. like, about what we're seeing. And right. if I tell him, you know, certain showrooms that we're going to, he has his favorites and stuff. That's so right. it's, you That's know, the perfect marriage, fun. literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he, he does the business side. He lets uh, me do the creative side yeah. of it, no, right? No, but I mean, you meet somebody <laughs> that's working their strong points. That's and, true. You know, it's such yeah. appreciation for it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for spending time yeah, with me today. Yeah, this has been fun. Has been, yeah, been I think so we fun. could sit and chat all day, you yeah. know? <laughs> Usually they're like back there going, okay, right. It up. But we just have too much fun together. <laughs> well, we'll have part two next time. Right? I know. There All you right. go. More trends to see. That's it's right. Such a beautiful showroom. Well, be sure to check out Shay's Trend Watch um, videos. They're pretty awesome. Too. Oh, thank you, Erica. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Shay. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.